Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? My beard is great, my name is Trey. Hey, check it out. All right, so look, today's topic of the video, right, is am I too old to go back to school? Am I too old to change careers, right? All right, so look, there's a lot of people out there with fear, doubt, uncertainty, right? Like, am I too old to go back to school? Can I actually do this, right? Now, a lot of this comes from society, right? So society tells you like, oh, if you 30, Five, if you 40, if you 45, you 50, you are old. Let me tell you something like this, right? This is straight from Uncle Trey. I'm gonna tell you like this. We're gonna use 35, right? Because that's kind of like in the middle of 30 and 40, right? 35. If you're 35 years old and you tell somebody 20 that you're young, they're gonna look at you like, go ahead, unk, go ahead, auntie, all right? If you are 35 years old and you tell somebody 60 that you're old, they're gonna look at you like, go ahead, young man, go ahead, young woman. So you're kind of in the middle, right? Where you're 35 to 45, you're kind of in the middle, okay? Now, if you are 35 or 40, right? We still use 35. If you are 35, yes, there are some things that you are too old for, right? Like, uh, number one, you're too old to be in the club, okay? If you're 35 years old, right? You're too old to start boxing, okay? You're too old to be wearing football jerseys. If you're a woman, right? You're too old to be wearing bras that don't fit. You know, you got the underarms hurting everything, your, 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 the stuff rubbing together right there, it's uncomfortable, okay? You're too old to be doing certain things. Too old to be following your children's friends on Instagram or Facebook, right? Mess around, see the wrong thing, okay? And, you, and if you're 35 years old, you're too old to be sleeping on a bed without a bed frame. Those things, yes, you are too old for, but changing your career or going back to school is not one of them, so we're gonna talk about that today. So if you're 30, 40, or 50 years old, I need you to stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna give you Trey's secret sauce, okay? The cheat code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, select, start, okay? And that way you can put yourself in a proper mind frame and adjust your mindset if you are trying to change careers or you're trying to go back to school. So before we get started, it is I says me, Cisco Soldier, AKA Uncle Trey. And if you like videos on IT certifications, educations, or whatever else I decide to post, make sure you smash that notification bell. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you can see all the videos I upload as soon as I upload. Okay, let's get started. All right, so whenever deciding to go back to school, right, or if you want to change careers, get into IT or something like that, the number one thing that slows you down, right, is that mentality, right? When you listen to other people that say, oh, you might be too old or you might not be able to do this or it might cost this much money, yada, yada, yada. You have to understand that when you listen to other people and people tell you what you cannot do, nine times out of 10, they are only projecting their fears, their uncertainty, and their doubt into your life. You have to block that out. You can't listen to nobody. If, you, if God puts something in your mind to make you want to go out and achieve that goal, then to block out everybody, even if it's coming from your family members or sometimes your immediate family. You need to block out everything they say and pursue your goal. Another thing you'll hear people say is like, I don't know if I can go back to school after all this time. It's like, man, you, you did everything else, right? Like, you gotta understand, like, if you've already made it to that age, right, of 30, 40, 50 years old, you already have a lot of life experiences. Like, how did you handle when your spouse left you? You know what I mean? How did you handle when that uh, parent or that sibling died? How did you handle when you could not pay those bills? You know, how did you handle when you had to pick up and move from this city to this city? You know, how did you handle that major uh, situation on your job? Where, or how did you handle that major situation in your family when everybody was looking at you to solve it? So if you was able to get through all that, then, you know, you have to look at your, you know, you have to look yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, I think I can handle this little school, right? But the biggest thing that you're missing, the biggest thing that most people are missing is not that you're missing it, is that you have to see it, capture it, and hold on to it. But the number one thing that people need to capture and hold on to is the why. Because you gotta think about it, right? If you have the thought in your head that says, hey, I need to change my career or I need to go back to school, why is that? You know, why did that thought come in your head? And nine times out of 10, it's because you're unsatisfied in your current situation. You're unsatisfied in where you are. You know right now that maybe you, may, you might not be living up to your full potential. And if you are feeling like that, if that is you, if you are feeling that way, aren't you already feeling? in some shape, form, or fashion, you kind of already failing, right? So you can't look at this situation like, oh, I don't want to do this because I might fail. You're failing already, so you might as well give this a shot. For those of you who've seen me before, right, you know my channel is based primarily upon technology, right? Oh, shit. Your brother is calling you. Your mission, should you decide to accept... Hey, I, I'll call you back. I'm doing a video right now. I'll call you back in a second. All right. So for those of you that follow my channel, you know primarily I talk about information technology, education, certifications, and things like that. This right here is very, very important, right? If you just look at the world that's around us right now, okay? Think about it, right? Think back to like 2013, right? When you walk into like Walmart, 
You walk into Walmart in 2013, you know, you go through the aisle, you see one machine, you like, hey, what is this brand new machine? What's this going on right here? That was the self-checkout machine, right? You're like, oh, that's wild, you know, that's nice. You fast forward to 2021, now you walk in, it's only self-checkout machines and one cashier, okay? So you see where technology is going, okay? You don't really wanna be left behind. So if that is your decision to, you know, embark upon this career field, then, you know, you should go ahead and get started immediately. <laughs> no, immediately. You know what I mean? For all my urban folks out there. All right, so now we like we talked about, right? How do you place yourself in the proper mindset, right? Listen, this is gonna be big. I'm finna drop a bombshell on y'all. Check it out, man. Now there are some people who have went forth, went like halfway and failed, and then they come back and poison the mind of others. Like, oh, I tried that, I can't do it, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I went through school, I couldn't get a job, blah, blah, blah. Hey, there are some cases, there are a lot of cases like that out there, right? But please do not let that poison your thought process, okay? Just make sure that you temper expectations when you decide to go back to school or change the careers, right? Because the number one thing that'll hurt you, right, if you're all like on fire and you go and things don't go the way you, you think they should go, then people start to fluster out, you know, lose steam, whatever the case may be. The number one thing when it comes to mind frame, okay, when it comes to mind frame, what you have to do is you have to understand the difference between idealism versus realism, okay? idealism versus realism so let's speak about information technology right let's say you're older than 50 right like you're you're past 50 years old and you've done all the above you you got your certifications you, you finished college and all this stuff yada 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 right now you're ready to go into the job market into the job field right and you land the job idealistically idealistically okay you might say you know what i want to show these it managers i want to show all these 20 somethings and 30 somethings that i can do all this stuff too i can learn to take the latest technology i can push all these buttons i can yada 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 slow down right you got to think right so look you're already of that age you have so much life experience so much to offer an organization right you might want to look at it and say okay hey let me go into the it management route right because you're already able to handle different personalities things of that nature you know you have a lot of stuff to offer right that might be value to a company so that is a way to look at it realistically right versus idealistically where it's like hey i want to go you know, take a party and program this whole server and do all this other stuff, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, hey, the main goal is, right, and I don't know if I'm, I don't know who I'm talking to out there, I'm just talking about Trey. The main goal is, when I'm 50, when I'm 55, 60, I'm not trying to, you know, no disrespect to nobody out there, salute everybody. But when I'm 50, man, when I'm 55, I'm not trying to be climbing up on nobody's roof, okay? I'm not trying to do that in any shape, form, or fashion. I'm trying to work in a temperature-controlled environment. So let that be your why. If you go to work every day and you're like, man, I hate my job, I just want to blow up, I just want to go, let that be your why. Let that be your end state. Let that say, you know what, these feet, you know, I've been climbing up and down this whatever and doing all this stuff all these years. I want to make sure that I can rest my feet when I go to work <laughs> or whatever the case, right? So that's just to put it in perspective. But look, last but not least, like I told you guys earlier, okay, never let anybody tell you what you cannot do. That's the number one failure. If you, if you want the biggest recipe for failure, right, straight out the Sara Lee cookbook, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Letting people put poison in your mind and telling you what you cannot do. Hey, so I hope you guys appreciate the video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, hit like, all right, drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know, hey, if you are here watching this video and you're somebody who's already done this, right, let all the people in the comment section know, hey, Trey don't know everything. Put it in the comment section. Let these folks know, hey, I'm 40 something. I'm 50 something. I already done done this. I don't know what y'all waiting on, but you better get your stuff together. And I'm out.